Hello, welcome to ShareTrack. This is Raj here. Today, I want to talk to you about a rumor that I heard that Eritas Medicine is selling its uh, oncology line. I don't know if these rumors could be true, but let's check it out anyway. Let's get started. Welcome back, friends. Today's topic is Eritas and the new rumor that we have. The rumor has it that Editas is in advanced discussions regarding the sale of its preclinical oncology lineup. I put a link in the a link of the article in the description so that you can check the rumor up for yourself. Let us look at the Editas pipeline and also their cash position to validate the possibility of any such sale, whether it makes any rational sense at all. Here we are in the uh, pipeline page for Editas. As you can see, none of the oncology candidates are in the clinical trial stage. Whereas the most promising ones are the sickle cell disease and the retinal disease. Uh, these are edit 301 and edit 101 respectively. In their oncology session, they, are all, they have uh, just three therapies and none of them are in clinical trials as yet. Two of them, including Editas 202, have uh, tie-ups with a, a third party. For In this instance, we have Bristol Myers uh, Squibb and for Editas 202, we have Blue Rock. That leaves uh, IPSC, NK, natural killer cells in a very, very infant stage. It's in the discovery stage. I don't think it's worth uh, selling such a uh, candidate. The questions I have is, uh, would the agreements with BMS and uh, Blue Rock allow uh, editors to sell these two oncology candidates to a third party and what is the uh, value of the INK cells that is still in the discovery stage. That said, if we uh, look at editors medicine's latest uh, earnings report in uh, Q2 2022, they showed us that they have 453 million in cash at the end of Q2 2022 and they are also a debt free company. Uh, importantly, their cash burn is under US dollar 171 million over the trailing 12 months. So I think Editas probably is not in a very desperate condition for money. And um, however, if you look at the two collaborations that they have for the oncology candidates and the uh, low progress rate out there, it's quite possible that those two partners are pressing Editas to invest more money and increase the cash burn to show progression in the oncology side. And that might potentially be putting some pressure on Editas. We don't know for sure because we don't have any information about that. An option otherwise would be to keep the oncology candidates in the back burner and focus on sickle cell disease and retinal therapies and get them to market first. With this background, we need to consider the fact that there has been senior executive shakeup at Editas recently and uh, are, they are reported to have conducted a strategic review of their options. This could potentially indicate a change of direction, uh, maybe a rethink of some kind. Maybe one of those strategic decisions is to sell the oncology line and start with a clean state and uh, focus on sickle cell disease and re retinal disease. We don't know. In April 2022, if I recollect, it has announced that uh, effective June 1, uh, Jim Mullen will be replaced by uh, Gilmore O'Neill, who most recently served as the chief medical officer at Serepta Therapeutics. We have done a backgrounder on Serepta Therapeutics. You can check out the video. Uh, it's in our homepage. Uh, Mullen will stay as uh, executive chairman, so he's not leaving the company and he will also be in the company's board of directors, a position that he held before, during, uh, before and during his time as CEO. So he still continues to be within the company. On becoming CEO, O'Neill recruited Sanofi veteran Bai Song May to serve as the company's new chief medical officer. May has deep experience in the hemophilia space at uh, both Sanofi and Bayer where he worked before. He replaced Le Lisa Michaels who was terminated by the company in February. So as you can see guys, if I just go to the recent history, there has been a lot of shuffle in the senior management. And apart from that, last week Edit has presented data on one of its oncology assets, Edit 202, at the European Society of Gene and Cell Therapy in Edinburgh. Edit 202 is a gene edited IPSC derived NK cell therapy that maintains prolonged persistence high cytotoxicity and enhanced in vivo control of solid tumors, according to Editas. When contacted in this regard, Christy Barnett, who is the press contact for investors, said currently there is no change to our uh, program or plans for Edit 202. Edit 202 is advancing towards end enabling studies and Editas will share additional updates on this program later this year, including additional preclinical data at an upcoming uh, upcoming medical conference. So that was a communication that we had from uh, from the uh, press contact. But if you also think about 
our uh, earlier video about mosaicism where we spoke about all the hurdles that we have with gene therapies uh, especially involving multiple edits more than three edits and uh, when we look at uh, the kind of therapy that uh, edit 202 is uh, it seems to have multiple edits and it's more likely to face uh, challenges of mosaicism so there's a good possibility that editors management might have looked at the whole thing and said you know what oncology is a bit of uh, trouble that we don't want right now especially when we look at sickle cell disease and uh, uh, the LV uh, retinal disease that we are already in advanced stage. So let's focus on those. So that's also very good possibilities. Some experts are saying that the markets have rewarded editors in the last day with a, a jump in its share price uh, based on this news. But in my personal opinion, I don't think that's uh, probably the matter because stocks move like a yo-yo and go up and down without a reason. And uh, so I guess we'll have to wait and watch. Let me just quickly take you into the TradingView platform to illustrate my point about that. Well, friends, here we are on the uh, TradingView platform. And uh, you can see that we are on the editor's chart. Each of these candles is a one-day candle. And there was a jump of 4.36% yesterday. But how can you say that it is because of this particular news? That is my big question to you. Because I don't think uh, that's the reason. And if you were to... Uh, look at uh, Teladoc, which jumped 3.3 percent. Was there any news? No, we didn't have any news out here. Teladoc warrants caution uh, uh, as better help uh, business consumer backdrop remains challenging. That was on September 28. So I don't think uh, there is any uh, major news that is driving any of this. Let us look at SQZ, which has jumped more than this. It's jumped 14 percent, more than three times. So if you go into SQZ and look at news, uh, it, it has got a news on September 6th. And as of September 6, it said that uh, SQZ Biotech's ch chief science officer to step down on October 31st. And in fact, the responsibilities are going to be shared by other employees. There is no chief scientific officer out here. And still, we saw uh, SQZ Biotech uh, jumping 14% yesterday. So I don't, I don't put any credence to these rumors. In conclusion, in my personal opinion, given the cash level and the status of the three oncology candidates in the pipeline, it would be messy for them to try to dispose them off. There will be legal issues. There will be costs associated with it, and they may not want to do that. And also, uh, a better option for them would be to focus resources on Edit 301 and Edit 101 and put the oncology uh, uh, candidates in the back burner if there is any cash, burn, uh, cash pressure. However, if they get pressured by their... Uh, partners for the two oncology candidates and uh, those partners request them to boost the uh, spending on those candidates and uh, progress them into clinical trial stage, then of course uh, they will have some issues at their, uh, at their hand. But I haven't read any press release to that effect. Anyway, that's my opinion and I would like to hear from you about what you think. Please leave your comments below for me and let's have a discussion about this. That's all for today, my friends. Please do not forget to press the like, share and subscribe button if I have done a good job. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.